All right, numero uno. Mm -hmm. Who said, I love you first? Nicole. No. <laughs> totally. Hold on. <laughs> This is our second round yeah. of Q&As, I guess, because mm -hmm. we did a Q&A when we first started a long time ago, and since then have had a lot more growth and a lot more questions. Yeah. So, and a lot round more, two. And a lot more subscribers, too. Mm -hmm. So the first time we did it, we didn't have nearly as many subscribers. Literally, like, what, 300 or yeah, something at the time? Yeah, probably so. We just figured it'd be better to do it now when we have, like, 17. Mm -hmm almost 18,000 subscribers. Do you choose which Q&A questions to answer? Yeah, yeah, but we pretty much answer all of them. Some of them do overlap, so like we won't repeat answers. Um, but yeah, we pretty much cover them all. Yeah. She goes through all of them more than I do. Yeah, we definitely, like when we first made this channel, we came to the agreement that we will stay away from certain topics. So we just don't mm -hmm. touch on political stuff. We yeah. try to stay away from race relations as much as we can. We obviously know that we're interracial and we do have to talk about it sometimes, but just current things that may be going on, we just yeah. want to keep the channel positive. So mm -hmm. we try to stay away from that. We, we also don't dive too deep into our intimate life because that's oh. for us. Yeah. <laughs> this must go to Cole. Did you tell your friends in advance that you liked Charisma? Any good wingman stories from the bonfire? From the bonfire? Well, the bonfire story is kind of funny because I invited Charisma over without having invited anyone else. <laughs> and she was like, oh, are, are there any, is anybody else coming? I was like, oh yeah, I have a bunch of people coming. And that was a lie. So frantically, I invited a bunch of my friends over and was going through the contact list real deep. And I managed to get a pretty good showing. And then yeah. Charisma showed up with one of her friends. But I would say the, the best wingman move that night was my friend Mike got here first. Shout out Mike. It, it was great because then it wasn't just me when Charisma got here with her friend Alex. And uh, Mike helped me out to make things less awkward. Yeah. So, it was thanks, a fun Mike. night. Charisma didn't even know I was hitting on her. No, I had no clue. That's why he invited me over. <laughs> like, I was very clueless. So I texted my friend and she was asking if Cole was into me. I had no clue that he mm -hmm. was until after he asked me on a date then i was like oh okay i think this dude likes me well even then you just weren't sure like, i don't know if he wants to just be my friend or what <laughs> it was actually funny because i didn't know whether or not i should sit by him when we came down toward to the pit what yeah i didn't know where to sit and i was of like course. and alex was like sit by him and i was like okay well that wouldn't matter if you didn't sit by me i would have made someone move <laughs> i'm serious <laughs> there was no hope that was happening <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cole, can you tell us about the model of your wheelchair and does it give you good back support? You seem slumped in the chair. <laughs> People think I'm slumpy. I've been told I am slumpy. I try my best to stay upright, but throughout the day, like rolling over bumps and stuff, I can't help but slide down and I don't have the strength myself to reposition way upright again. But I, I use a Quickie GPV with eMotion Power Assist wheels. So the wheels are electric and manual, so it works with me as I push. The motors kick in as well, so I, I have a little help. I wouldn't be able to push around a regular manual wheelchair, unfortunately. I just don't have the strength or like I don't have the grip to really get the wheels going. Can I expand upon that? That Quickie GPV is the only model that is a rigid manual chair that allows you to put the easy lock bolt on it so you can drive from that chair. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Yeah, and also, a lot of people say that I should get a power chair. This is a power chair. Yeah. And I, I can push it around. It's just not good in some terrain, like grass and gravel. But for yeah. the most part, I can push myself around. Yeah. I know Juan Derek likes to push me around and dad and uh, people are helpful, but I can't push myself. <laughs> <laughs> what is one thing you totally love about each other? Uh, smile. Aww. That's, that's always, that's my thing. The smile and the dimples. I'm a sucker for dimples. <laughs> and her butt. <laughs> what? You threw that one in there so like <laughs> slick. I well, almost I'm didn't just, catch it. I was listing all the great things oh my goodness. about you. Well, I like uh, Cole's eyes. His blue eyes are like my favorite. You did that last time too. Did I? Yes. <laughs> um, but I also like his personality. He's so caring and loving and mm -hmm. always happy and never upset at things, which I love and hate at the same time. It's like a backhanded compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I love it about him. <laughs> yeah. I also love Charisma's positive energy because I thrive off of positive energy. As much as I put it out there, I need to get some back too, so. Okay, Charisma, 
What does Cole think of your natural hair and braids? Were mm. you ever apprehensive about that in any way? <laughs> um, he loves it. I was never apprehensive. I've always, I've worn, I've been natural. Whew, correction. I have been natural since junior year of high school, which has been probably a long time. since 2011, since Cole's injury that year. I've been natural. So See, I I've, was changing your life then. You didn't <laughs> even know it. <laughs> so I have never been apprehensive about it. I have been apprehensive about it. Really? Because I, this being my first interracial, interracial relationship, I wasn't used to a girl changing their hairstyle like every month. Because <laughs> like, she'd show up with curly hair and then she showed up with straight hair and then she'd show up with braids and then she'd show up with, with a, a ponytail yeah. or a bun or Mickey Mouse. <laughs> like if you watch our trailer, she has like five different hairstyles in our trailer. It's like, is that the same girl? <laughs> Actually, Papa. Oh yeah. Never, my Papa she came over one time, met Charisma, when she had like braids or something, yeah, and then he so. came over again, and then had bun. Yeah. And then my Papa went to my friend and he said, "Is that the same girl?" <laughs> <laughs> it's like my first black girlfriend, and then Papa thinks I have two in like a week. But what's your but, favorite hairstyle? Actually, the braids is my favorite. They grew on me. I was apprehensive about the braids, and I was like, I kind of like the braids look. <laughs> yeah, I like the braids too. <laughs> Cole, have you dated anyone else besides Charisma after your injury? Yeah. One girl I knew from high school and one other girl, and um, I'm happy where I am with my relationship now. Good answer. <laughs> Charisma, have you dated anyone else before Cole? Yes. Um, another someone from mm -hmm. high school and then someone else after that mm -hmm. and I could say the same I'm definitely happier where I am now and mm -hmm. it all works out. Yes. Yeah <laughs> Do you live with your parents? Yep. Mm-hmm. Both of us. Yep. For now. Yeah, he lives with mom and dad I live with my mom and dad, but I'm always over here a lot. Yeah. It's almost like I don't live at home My yeah. parents always wonder when are you coming home Charisma? <laughs> It, it makes the most sense for us yeah. economically because neither of us have a ton of money, so. Oh yeah, oh, for sure. How often do you see each other? <laughs> a lot. Yeah, it's almost daily. Yeah. But there are days you don't see each other when Charisma's in school. Yeah. Yeah, when Charisma goes to school, I won't see her because she's up in Nova. Or when I'm editing all day long, like, yeah. don't bother me, <laughs> I'm working. I might be editing for like 10 hours straight to get the video out and I'm publishing it like the night before we upload it, so I'm panicking because we want to get it to you guys in time, so. Yeah, but for the most part, we see each other at least like. Five times a week. Yeah, Yeah. probably. Does Cole ever spasm while driving? Yep, <laughs> it can be scary, but I hold on for dear life, and I haven't died yet. Oh, Cole. What? <laughs> <laughs> Next. Mm-hmm. Okay, what kind of vacation would you two like to take next? Ooh. The other day we were talking about going to California. Oh, California would be awesome. Yeah. We've talked about doing a cruise. We would love to do a cruise, something like in the uh, Australian Ocean, is that what it's called? The South Ocean? Mm -hmm. Like Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, we really want to go to New Zealand. New Zealand, yeah. New Zealand is the most accessible country in the world. Isn't it number one? I don't know if it's number one, but we've heard that it's very accessible. It's up there. <laughs> it's very accessible, so we want to go there for sure. That'd be fun. <laughs> Does Charisma or her family have any South American or Caribbean origins? Do you? Um, I mean, not that I'm aware of. My mother is adopted, so yeah. we only know that her mother is from the Dominican Republic. We know nothing about her father slash my grandfather, so there's a strong possibility but we're just yeah. unsure. <laughs> With your injury, have you ever been depressed or thought of harming yourself? Oh yeah, absolutely. I don't know how many of y'all have dealt, probably all of you have dealt with teenage boys, but they can be m subject to mood swings just like anyone else, probably even more so. And so when you are a young man and you have all of your physicality stripped from you, and are thrust into a whole new world very rapidly. It's hard to take it in, all in at once and not be down, so, yeah. And it was, does Cole feel pain when he spasms? Uh, no pain, no spasm pain. Uh, it can be uncomfortable, um, but no. But sometimes people will use spasms to their benefit. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Cool. What? <laughs> Sorry. The distraction is real. People always point out my shyness in awkwardness, <laughs> in the, which is very true. I'm very shy and awkward. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly when it comes to PDA and Cole knows that. Uh -huh. And so he'll try, <laughs> he'll try to like kiss me or something in front of the camera because he knows I'll know. get squirming me about it. He starts it. blushing. Yeah, so it's not like I'm not affectionate with Cole. Like, trust me, we're affectionate off camera, but mm -hmm. just in front of the camera, I'm just so weird and in front of people in general. Okay, <laughs> it's just weird. Cole does not care about PDA and he's very Because I don't care what people think. Um, but I must say that um, Cole's more affectionate than I am in general, so I've definitely learned to become more affectionate. And I'm the type of person that loves words and words words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. So he's just been doing that. Wow, doing that a lot more oh, with did me. I get your no, it was myself. Oh. Yeah, but yeah, I just wanted to let people know that yeah. it's just me. It's how I am. Good. How do you handle differences or arguments? And who is the first to make peace and work it out? Hmm. Uh, what? Hmm. <laughs> don't even. Let's see. I want to hear what you have to say. Well, I don't think we've ever gotten to a serious argument. Like, we've disagreed about things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we always talk it out. Cole is the first to amend, like, to... To what? Amend things. Yes. <laughs> I'm the glue. He is. But, I mean, <laughs> he just he just doesn't get really upset about things, which is kind of annoying. Because then when I oh. get upset... You I mean, want me to be more it's upset? A, it's a good thing, but then I just feel like I'm always the only one upset at things. And I'm like, dude, can you be mad for two seconds? But if you're thing? getting upset and I'm upset, then we're both upset and neither of us are going to try to fix it. I guess. I don't get upset at all, by the way. I mean, all the time. Just sometimes yeah. here and there. <laughs> and it never lasts long. We always talk about it and we're fine. Yeah, not too long. <laughs> we're working on the communication, though. Yes. Well, that's just the biggest thing, communication. Mm-hmm. Who said, I love you first? Cole. No. <laughs> totally. Hold on. Wait a minute. I said, I love you too first. <laughs> because we were laying there and Charisma looked at me and she said, <laughs> and I knew what she was thinking. All right. I, and so I was like, oh, shoot. I, I, this is it. <laughs> and so I said, I, I love you too. She said, what? <laughs> what did you say? Do you say you love me? I was like, well, didn't you just say that to me? She said, no. So I felt like an idiot. It was, no, but then I was like, oh, well, I do love you, but I, that's not what I said at all. It was really awkward and really funny. So technically, yeah. by default, Cole said it first. Yeah. It could have been a little more romantic, I, I admit. Real. Oh, by the way, today makes 10 months. 10 months. We made it. Yeah. Here's to 10 more. Cheers. Or Tink. 10 more years or centuries? Centuries. 10 centuries. We're going to live that long. So. Thank you for watching. Uh, for all of our subscribers out there, you know, throw on that bell. You'll get a notification every time we post a new video. And for those who aren't subscribed, don't forget to push the subscribe button. Yay. Love you all. Peace.